hello welcome back to my channel or if you're new here just hello my name is violet and today i'm going to be setting some boundaries around my home um if you are not new to my channel and you've seen my previous videos you know that we currently moved into a new home um so that's super exciting but with moving into a new home you need to set boundaries you need to cleanse you need to protect yourself so um i have already done a cleansing i will leave that video linked below but today I am setting boundaries for my home. Um, there are many ways to set boundaries. You can set them, um, <laughs> I forgot the word, uh, when you visualize it. You can visually set boundaries by um, meditating and picturing a big ball of light around you and yours. Um, or you can set one with physical items. Today I'm going to be setting one with physical items. Um, with using physical items, you can use as many or as little as you would like. Um, I'm going to be using really just one item, but kind of two. Um, I'll be using railroad spikes. Um, railroad spikes, you can come across them walking on the railroad. Um, I am pretty sure that is illegal most everywhere. Um, of course people do it. I have been doing it. Um, since I was a child with my dad, we would go and walk the railroad. Um, you can find them on the sides of railroads, which I don't think is illegal to walk beside them. Uh, they're always on the side of them. Me and my friend Harrison, we went to go collect some. And um, <laughs> just so happens that the railroad that we went to, they had just remodeled the whole railroad. And there was a pile of like thousands of them. So I got a huge bag of them. For me and my husband my husband is getting into blacksmithing so this is what a normal railroad spike is let me just put you on him real quick he made these yesterday they're like little wall hooks i think they're the cutest thing he has to put the holes in them so he can like mount them but he made, ah, he made a few of those yesterday and um he's gonna start making knives and things like that um yeah this is one of the knives he's working on right now which he didn't show me I'm just at his forge right now because that's where all the, uh, that's where all the railroad spikes are. If you know me, you know crows have been following me. Um, as you can see, <laughs> they have been following me. But for my protection or my boundaries that I am setting, I'm going to have a railroad spike. This is full moon water that I collected at the last full moon. And inside of it, there is a... Um, clear quartz with uh, tourmaline inclusions in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in there, dip the tip in the full moon water, which is great for um, cleansing and protection, and then I'm going to put them at different areas of my property. With setting, um, I'm sorry, I'm watching my dog as well. <laughs> with setting boundaries around your home, um, you can do it around all the corners where all the edges of your property meet. Or you can do it at entrances, exits, that type of thing. I'm doing corners and entrances. So at the corners of my property and at the entrances from the road into my home. Um, I'm not going to film them because I don't really, I mean I do have a tripod. I'm just lazy. I also don't really feel comfortable with showing the edges of my property and where I'm going to be putting these protection items. That is another thing. Um, of course with defensive magic there is also offensive magic. So be careful sharing your, um, your spell work and that type of thing. It's always nice if you are going to share it to do a little something extra. That way if somebody that is seeing um, what you were sharing, they, um, they can't necessarily take down what you did. Um, which is the sad reality of it, that not everybody is doing this for the good. Some people are doing it for bad. Um, but without further ado, I am going to do that. And yeah, I will give you a little update on how it went, any vibes that I picked up, and any advice that I would give you based on my experience with doing this. So, I'll see you in a second. Just wanted to pop in and say that um, transporting, if you have a larger yard, transporting your, um, your railroad spikes in your water may be difficult. Um, as you can see, I have five. Uh, you can also work with numerology, by the way, if you have a feeling about the number three if you have a feeling about the number seven I normally go with five or seven five being like the pentacle and um pentagram sorry pentagram and seven just being a number that I vibe with so yeah. okay 
Okay, so I've now finished setting my bar uh, barriers, <laughs> whichever way you want to call it, barriers, boundaries. Um, as I did that, I realized that I didn't say that oftentimes you should cleanse the inside before you move to protecting the outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're protecting your property, you need to cleanse your house first. Um, I, however, did not cleanse my house because there's nothing off about it right now. Everything's good. Everything's great. No negativity. No spooky stuff that I don't allow. Everything is fine. Um, I was having problems outside of my home with feeling presences in the yard. Um, they have gone. They have dissipated. But I have also been um, walking around my yard relatively frequently and setting those intentions that only positivity is allowed. No fear, no anger, no sadness. We want to have as much positive energy at our home as we possibly can because that is where you spend the most happiest times of your life hopefully is at home um, and if it's not start start trying to figure out why that is also can you see my hands from the roads bikes they're quite well this one's relatively cleaner than this one uh, the properties of the railroad spikes depending on what material they're made out of um, I'm pretty sure they're normally made out of iron. I could be completely wrong. Fuck whatever I know. But um, iron has or steel, they have been used for hundreds if not thousands of years. I'm not a historical geography. I don't know anything about nothing. But I do know that metal has been used for protection for a very long time. <laughs> a very long time. Also, as I was setting um, my boundaries up around my property, I was going to the corners where I just was like, that's where, I just, where I'm just going to put them. And I was realizing there were already iron or steel stakes in the ground at these areas. Why? Because there's fences. Duh. So, if you have a fence around your yard, you don't even really have to set the spikes if you don't want to. You totally can if you would like to. Um, just put your energy into the ground, forcing that metal object into the ground. And setting your attention is powerful because it's affecting the earth underneath your feet and underneath your home. Um, but what you could do is anoint the um, fence posts. I thought of that while I was doing that. That would be probably easier for some people. Then you don't have to go out and get railroad spikes. I also forgot to mention, I just said, oh, it's illegal. But you can, you can go get your railroad spikes. You can also buy them. I know that people have them and they sell them online. Um, I had that huge bag and my husband didn't know about it and he came home with a box of railroad spikes he's like look what I got do you need any and I was like little do you know I have like 30 in the back of my car right now <laughs> and he's like what but uh, yeah was there anything else that I noticed um, while you were doing your perimeter I don't know how big your property is or whatever um, set intentions the whole time um, letting your mind wander is okay but do not do not let any negativity slip in. Um, while I was setting my boundaries, a little bit of negativity slipped in my mind, but it was about um, how I was having issues with energies on my property. But um, set intentions. If something like that happens, say, I felt this in the past. This is not going to happen anymore. This is my boundary, and this is what's going to be followed. Um, you have to set clear boundaries. If there is any loophole or any <laughs> she is hunting up like these leaves that keep falling and acorns uh <laughs> if there is any loophole or um minor detail that doesn't add up those energies can sneak in you are allowing those energies in other ways you can add to your boundaries and setting them i was originally going to do this but um you know sometimes we don't have enough energy to do certain things or we don't feel like putting that energy into it because we have other things that we need to do. Um, I was originally going to get some cord. Um, I normally use leather cord or hemp cord, whichever one. Um, I like to use more natural. Um, but getting a cord, your railroad spike, and maybe some herbs, cedar, juniper, whatever you like that's for protection, and wrapping them around the spike and then placing it into the ground. Um, that's also something you can do with placing spikes in the ground if it hasn't rained if it has rained um, if it's hard yard versus like 
soft moss that you're putting your spikes into that's really gonna affect how easily you're gonna be able to put the spikes in the ground luckily it has been raining on and off here for a little while and every place that I put a spike is just happens to be shaded by trees so there was a lot of moisture still in the ground um, if there's not try to do this early in the morning that way the dew is still in and it's easier to put snakes in the ground because um, it, it could be difficult and you might need a spike or something not a spike oh my gosh you might need a hammer to put the spike into the ground but um, however you feel fit to do this also if you don't want to do the spikes but you want to do the herbs just wrap the herbs around your um your posts your fence posts and that'll work as well uh, this is not the only way to set boundaries or set a perimeter around your home this is just what I decided to do today like I said you can visualize you don't even have to leave the comfort of your own room to visualize um, something I used to do a lot whenever I didn't own my own home and I own I was in an apartment um, I would set I would visualize a boundary around my apartment every night every night right before I went to bed I would visualize it to protect me through the night and into the next day until the next time that I would set my boundary that's a good habit to get into um, with that being said um, some I was raised Baptist I'm no longer Christian but this is a good kind of something to do I was raised by my grandmother whose husband was a preacher I was raised by her whenever we prayed at night we would always say put angels on every corner of our home well um, a lot of I believe it's Wiccans uh, do that as well where they call in each cardinal direction and their their energies to protect them whether it be during spell work or just for protection in general um, yeah you can also do that if you want to call in any spirits or entities or deities that make you feel protected or safe you can do that as well pop it in here for a quick second because I forgot to mention something really important resetting your boundaries if you feel the need to you can reset them every full moon every new moon however you feel or you can do it whenever the vibe feels off whenever you start to possibly feel things entering into your space that you had protected set a boundary um it's really up to you when you set them some people like it a one and done but resetting them at important times is probably the best idea um, only you can know when exactly that is trust your intuition and trust the vibes that you're picking up your guides will tell you your angels whatever you so call them they will let you know when you are unprotected so keep an eye out and excuse my dog I really did enjoy making this video I needed to do it anyway and I'm so glad to be getting back on YouTube and sharing my craft and what I practice and I hope that you learned something from this video. Feel free to ask me questions below. Feel free to tell me how you set your boundaries. I love to hear new things. Um, online, there's a lot of the same things repeated over and over again. So please share what you do. I would love to hear about it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!